despite fleeing from their own destruction. They overran our meager defenses, enslaved our people, and plundered our worlds. Desperate and unable to mount a resistance on their own, many worlds ceded their authority, transforming the Order into the Traitor Emergency Coalition. United under a single banner, we finally stood a fighting chance and our vast commercial fleet was slowly retooled into a shield against the alien advance. It seemed our fortunes were turning as we mounted a counter-offensive. Such hope was short-lived. The long banished, 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 banished now calling themselves the Advent, returned more powerful and twisting, twisting, twisting. It seemed our fortunes were turning as we mounted a counter-offensive. Such hope was short-lived. The long banished, 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 now calling themselves the Advent, returned more powerful and twisting, twisting, twisting. It seemed our fortunes were turning. Looks like we I mounted screwed a counter-offensive. Such hope was short-lived. Long banished, 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 now calling themselves the Advent, returned more powerful, twisting, twisting, twisting. Twist. It seemed our fortunes were turning. Looks like I mounted a counter it up, offensive. Man. Such hope was short lived. Okay, maybe it's working right. No subject. Only ship and other vital stats are displayed in the info card, which is displayed to the right. The entire tree on the left of the screen is a collapsible display of the ships and structures orbiting any planet where you have something selected. Uh, by default, the entire Empire Tree displays planets in their most expanded form, with ships and structures sorted into groups beneath the planet. This is a capital ship. They are large warships that anchor your fleet. As they gain experience, they become increasingly powerful. Okay. Battle cruiser. Okay. Hobbies can be selected by light. left clicking on them in the main view. Units can also be selected by clicking on their icons in the Empire tray. Go ahead and select the capital ship. Reporting in. Good notice that units show their Empire icon above with themselves and when selected have a light gray background in the Empire tray. Yeah, right there. Also observe that the action grid on the button, bottom right contains actions and management options the capital ship is capable of. We'll look into this further in just a moment. Reporting for duty. Despite their power, their expense makes capital ships relatively rare. Smaller vessels like corvettes, frigates, and cruisers make up the core of your Empire's fleet. Hire a few basic frigates to accompany your capital ship. Okay. Multiple objects can be selected at once by drag, selecting over them with the left mouse button. Try this now. Okay, so let's go over here. Where do you need me? Wait. Oh. Good. If you want to center the camera, let's focus on an object. You can do so by holding down the control and then left clicking on the object. Go ahead and try focusing on the capital ship. If you want a better view of the environment, scroll the mouse wheel down to zoom out, in and out. Try zooming out now. Good. You can 
also rotate the right mouse button and moving the um, mouse. Go ahead and try this. All planets have a gravity well, which is an area around them where the gravity is too strong for starships to phase jump to other planets. Notice the faint ring denoting the edge, yes. Okay, back over here. May have also noticed the faint gray phase line branching out from your planet's gravity well. Please. Phase lines mark the path of travel to other nearby stellar bodies. Okay. Ships can you can get ships can be given move orders by left clicking the mouse button in the action grid then left clicking there to try this now we're going to the move point where the phase lane intercepts the gravity well. A sound plan. Notice that units display the order they are currently executing. Okay. With a pulsing border around the orders icon in their action grid. And with an order description in their info card. Units can also be issued a context specific order with the right mouse button. Most situations it will issue units a movement or follow order. When used on enemy units and structures it will order your units to attack. Okay. Explore one of the other features well in it is in transit cap ships also act as mobile hangers for squadrons of small attack craft. Squadron limits deferred by capital ships increases the capital ships gain experience. And to manage a capital ship squadron, click the squadron menu below right lower corner of your action grid. Good, there are two types of strike craft bombers which carry heavy weapons but damage you. To damage larger well armed targets and fighters which are very fast and well suited for attacking bombers and lightly armed targets. Go ahead and build a squadron. Great capital ships can do strike at no cost until after they are. All of their assigned squadrons are full, however, strike craft build more slowly when this capital ship is in combat. Okay. And they have noticed that unlike your capital ship, the other planets in the system currently do not show their planet type when in icon form. Additional information on their info card. I didn't even see that there was. Okay. These 2000 additional with other planets, they have phase lanes to remain hidden until you have scouted them. Take your fleet and investigate the nearby break by clicking on a planet in the main. View. We're underway. Order phase, phase jump underway. Jump. All hands, prepare for phase jump. Also, notice movement lines of your fleet are blue to signal that current movement order will involve a phase jump. Phase jump complete. Reporting in. Hostile force will require fire upon targets. Uh, in range, if you would like to manually choose their targets, click on the attack button and then actually go ahead and click on. Where's the attack button? Brace for combat. Where do you need me?
Reporting in. Brace for combat. Excellent, your capital ship gained level from the experience earned in defeating the ships, okay. In addition to increase it, let's have it, your capital ship now has ability to point. It can spend to unlock new offensive defensive systems. To spend this point, select the capital ship and click on the ability management button in the action grid. Abilities fall into new major carrier Triggered abilities and passive abilities. Triggered abilities typically require anti-miter to be used and have a cooldown period before they can be used again. <sighs> Pass abilities require no anti-miter and typically grant a constant benefit to the ship and or nearby allies. Go ahead and choose the ability to activate. How can I be of service? Excellent, we triggered these abilities. Our first unlock, they begin uh, in an auto use state, denoted by a circular arrow animation. When in this state, the capital ship automatically decides when to use the ability, you can be, this can be toggled by right clicking the ability. In order to take advantage of the resources for the asteroid to build the largest asteroid must first be colonized. This is performed by using a colonization ability of your capital ship or a similar one on colony frigates. Go ahead and use colonize on this asteroid. A sound plan. Got a job for me? How can I be of service? A new colony has been founded. Asteroid now is yours to develop its population and tax income that they provide appear on the asteroid info card. You colonize a planet or asteroid construction period is also okay. This ship is responsible for building structures when it's within its gravity well. Should it be destroyed, placement will automatically start building at no cost from the planet. Producing structures will be examined in more details in another tutorial. Take your frigate and capital ships and investigate the nearby planet. Where do you need me? Damn, where is it? Here. Ahead slow. A sound plan. Got a job for me?
Yes, sir. I won't let you down. All hands, prepare for phase jump. <coughs> So I won't let you zoom in when until you there. Phase jump complete. I was established foothold destroyed in Attack Fleet. Got a job for me? Attack! Got a job for me? Give the order. What now? Give the order. We're going in. Secure the passengers. The fighters, triggers, finish officers, capital ship can start building their infrastructure. Only capital ship is tightened since each fact the frigate is able to bomb plans to begin bombing, simply attack the planet. Reporting in. Secure the passengers. Hold steady. We're going in. Got a job for me?
bombing will destroy infrastructure on the ground and kill population when all infrastructure is destroyed. The planet is lost by its current owner. Give me something to bomb. Here's some siege frigates to help you take the planet. Okay, good. Who needs bombing today? This should be fun. tutorial he will learn about resources and sins of solar empire rebellion how to acquire them how to spend them on units and structures okay these are resources and sins of the solar empire credits metal and crystal credits are the most basic and universal resource they are part of the cost of all unit structures and research additionally credit ease certain transactions between empires whether it be through the buying and selling of resources on the black market or in the form of bounty against other empires in the previous tutorial you learned that your empire earns credit and I got a phone call so I got to pause Okay, I'm back. Um, spam call. Go figure. Okay, where was I? Okay, in the previous tutorial, you learned that the, your empire earns credits from the tax income of the population of, of your planet under your of planets under your control. By investing in planet development, you can increase your tax income by raising the maximum sustainable population of your planet. To do this, click on the develop planet. Raise tax income by investing in civilian infrastructure now. The other types of planet upgrades will be addressed later on in the tutorial. Okay. Good civilian infrastructure also affects an under, underdeveloped tax rate, which is a reduction to taxes that affects newly colonized planets. Okay. Under a certain number of these upgrades are performed, these planets will be a drain on your empire's credit income. Gotcha. Metal is one of the two secondary resources and is primarily used in the construction of ships and structures. It is acquired from asteroids rich in metal ore via the metal extractor structure. Okay. More advanced units and structures require crystal, which is acquired from similar asteroids via a crystal extractor structure. Gotcha. The amount of each resource your empire has is shown in the top right corner of the HUD, right up here, gotcha. You can mouse over any of these amounts to see the breakdown of income rate of each resource. Ooh, I'm not getting anything. As previously mentioned, all orbital structures are built by 
a construction frigate, go ahead and just select it. Good orbital structures can be classified in two broad categories: logistic structures, which generally help your own resources, finished. And, and produce ships; tactical structures, which aid in the planetary defense and other more specific tasks. Let's build a defensive structure to help fortify this planet. With the construction frigate selected, click on the Build Tactical Structure button on the action grid. Basic what plans for the TEC is the Gauss Defense Platform. Click on to build one for the rest of the tutorial. Restrictions on how many structures you can build will be relaxed. So, uh, the cursor to switch to ring shows structure's footprint in the gravity well. This ring is green when it is over an area where your structure can be built. Okay, I see that. Maybe not. Once your structure has been placed, your construction FAIA moves to its location and begins construction. Okay. Almost all structures consume either logistics or tactical support capacity depending on their type. Since both are limited, the types of structures you choose to build on which planets can have significant effects on your empire, of course. It is possible to increase these capacities via the development planet menu. Click it now. Like with population, different types of planet types to earn the maximum tactical and logistic support they can provide both initially and when we're fully upgraded. Now that proper defense is underway it's time to build an extractor to provide some metal income. Click on the build a logistic structure button. Metal extractor. Good as soon as the construction fixes the cost platform will complete. automatically be Move to begin the max building the Q structure. So ships are built from orbital factories, corvettes, frigates, and cruisers from the frigate factory, capital ships from the capital ship factory, titans and star bases are special units that will be in, discussed in a later tutorial. Select the frigate factory now. That ain't it. Hold on. Structure complete. Build frigate. Click the build frigate button now. Create the build ships. Click the ships you would like, and they will go into the planet ship production queue. Uh, they are then built from available factories in the order they are requested. Build an Arkova scout frigate. Good. Your available fleet display. Supply is displayed at the top of the hood, hovering over this area of displays. I break down on how your total fleet supply is used. If it's out there, I'll find it. Okay. In addition, fleet supply, capital ships, and titans require highly trained crews in order to be fielded. The available crew cannot count also appears at the top of the hood. Great one. If you should ever find yourself at maximum capacity of ships or structures and need to reallocate the used capacity different as possible, free up capacity via scuttling. To scuttle ship or structure, select it and press the scuttle button at the bottom center of the HUD. I take it that's...
After a brief time, you will be scrapped. Pressing the button, you will abort the scuttling. So let's go to the gauze cannon. They require research to be conducted on the planet. Yeah, I noticed. Before such prerequisite pre research can be conducted, research labs must be built. There, these are two types military labs and civic research stations. Okay. Military and defense research trees. While civilian research stations grant access to all others. Select the construction frigate and build. Two military labs from the logistics structure menu now. Where are you? As soon as the research station is queued, you may begin queuing research to do so. Open the research window via the button at the top center of the HUD. Research subjects are organized in six trees military, defense, civilian, diplomacy, fleet, logistics, and artifacts. Military, defense, civilian, and diplomacy trees are unique to each race and contain su subjects that improve the fighting capacity of your fleets, plant defenses, and economic strength of your empire and your ability to cooperate with others. The fleet logistics tree is common to all races and contains subjects that increase the maximum available fleet supply and capital ship crews. The artifact tree is also common to all races but require the discovery of specific artifacts on planets possessing them before their benefits can be gained. Research subjects within a given tree are organized into structure tiers, complete, which is a measure of how they advance the technology granted by the subject. Additional research structures must be built in order to perform research in higher tiers. To conduct research, structure complete. Queue subjects by clicking on their icons in the tree. Q research in course of prototype in the military tree. Notice that as soon as the research is queued, you can likewise queue ships depending on that re research subject. These ships will begin construction as soon as their research prerequisite is finished. The explore planet upgrade contains conducts an extensive survey of the planet which may reveal powerful hidden artifacts or other interesting natural advantages. As a final note, any type of construction can conveniently be accessed via the planet rather than a specific structure. This includes the economy and production tutorial. Okay. So, I am going to take a break here. And when we come back, we'll do a couple more tutorials. So, y'all have fun.